This is test ID 17, component ID 80. It is for the after catalyst oxygen sensor, the B1S2. It's a lean voltage test. Now the SID 80 indicates a minimum limit. This is true only on JTEC. SPEC would have a maximum limit. The PCM monitors the after catalyst oxygen sensor voltage during lean fuel control periods and stores the lowest value. Now the values aren't converted into measured values, so use them as a relative indicator of operation. The typical data we're going to be using will show you actual vehicle results. The monitor fails when the value is below the minimum value. Now we're pointing to the red, the square that says zero, 00 there for TID 17. In this particular case, we had to use data from an SPEC, which has a maximum limit. The reason we had to do that is we didn't find any of the vehicles we worked on with a 17 in JTEC. But we're going to use a lab scope to verify this test result, which is a good test result. We have no problems. Now we have one on a traditional scan tool that shows us a different situation. Notice the test and limit values are the same. The maximum limit is 29. The measured value is 29. We passed, but we are borderline. Now the last one you saw was 0 versus 30. So this tells you you really need to take a look at this. And remember, we're going to do all this by using lab scopes. We're going to use the lab scope patterns to help direct us to a problem area. Now, one of the warnings we always put up is we say we cannot identify the precise cause of a failure, but we can get an idea of what's going on. So next, we're going to look at lab scope patterns to help verify this Mode 6 data. We're going to be observing the red trace in this case. We're pointing here to the right-hand side, the red scale, and we see we're slightly over two-tenths of a volt. We're going to have to do something extra. To do that, we're going to do a snap accelerate test, where fuel control goes full rich and full lean. Now, as you saw, the green trace and red trace both went up there. The snap accelerate causes the fuel control to go full rich, then full lean. Let's observe that again, because the full lean part of this is going to be important to us. That's what we're testing. So as we snap it, we notice first the green goes up, then the red goes up. Then a moment later, the green goes full lean, and the red comes full lean. But let's observe that full lean. Look at the voltage scale on the right. The low point is over two-tenths of a volt. This is too high. Looking back to the center when we're full lean, we're still too high. This particular test is verifying that we did have a failure not going lean enough. But remember something, JTEC O2 sensors have higher voltage when they're cold. And this sensor is way back in the exhaust, further away from the engine, gets less heat. And it's high mileage. Plus, this was on a very cold day and the vehicle was not driven before this test. So those are the type of things I want you to keep in mind. But this does verify what the PCM saw. The PCM takes the fuel control lean briefly to do this test. We did the same thing and we saw the same failure. But we think we have an explanation. If it was fully warmed up, we would want to change this sensor because it's getting old and not responding properly. But utilize this information to help you verify and understand what the Mode 6 data is telling you.